Hi everybody, Angel Arts is here, and welcome again to yet another Let's Play Dragon Age Collision. Dragon Age Collision? That's yeah. Collision. <laughs> no, we've already done that one. We've already done that one. I was just, I was just editing the Dragon Age um, slash Mass Effect Collision episode earlier. That's why my mind is still on Dragon Age. This is Mass Effect Collision <laughs> with the main squad. We are going to begin with a warm-up as usual. I, my question for the each individual character is, um, you all have been through the Reaper War, and I'm sure that the four of you have um, are familiar with the people that were involved in winning back the galaxy from the Reapers in however shape or form that happened depending on what happened with the crucible in your respective galaxies so my question for you guys is which of the normandy crew members would you say was the one shepherd is not a, other than shepherd <laughs> other than shepherd which of the normandy crew members would you say your character was the most inspired by or idolized the most and why do you think that your character in, was inspired by that character or idolized that character the most? Uh, I think for Sync, um, I think it would be Joker that he would idolize the most. Mm -hmm. Just because uh, of, I mean, of the of the cards that Joker was dealt in terms of, like, his illness with his brittle bone disease. Mm -hmm. I felt like he didn't let that stop him. And he wanted to be a pilot, and, I mean, that's what he did. Well, I guess... <sighs> It's really, really difficult for me to pick between Legion and Tali because Elias <laughs> is voting for them, basically. Um, because, especially in his universe, somehow the two of them, with Shepard, managed to broker a piece, which is yeah. pretty insane. If, 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 in case you guys didn't catch it, um, the Green Universe is my Let's Play Clive Shepard's universe. Everything that happened in my Let's Play happened in Elias's universe. This is an FYI. I'm split between two characters. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'd say one with this, with Kane and Alenko, just because mm -hmm. um, being a biotic user, um, it's still kind of iffy with humans that have biotic powers, kind of that mm -hmm. stigma. Uh, like, because uh, with the Yara, Asari's with biotic powers, it's, they're kind of low. Look, I mean, they own pretty much almost all of them have that, and they look greatly upon that. But the humans is still kind of looked at iffy wise, and being able to handle him himself well with his biotic powers, and being able to do his job. And the other person I was also thinking about was Garrus, just being a Turian representing, uh, representing their race, and being someone who is kicking butt out there. Is Javik a thing in red? Yeah. Javik can totally be a thing. <laughs> Javik can totally be a thing in red. Javik can yeah, totally be a thing. Yeah, because I think that she would admire that he basically goes in and fights again, considering everything he's been through once, and he goes in and mm -hmm. does it again. Just to save people he doesn't even know, just because he wants he knows the threat and everything. Right. Even with his own species having died out. Yeah. He goes yeah. into fights again, knowing what he heads into. Do you think Arkara would be able to do the same thing if all of the Krogan had died out and she was the only one left? Do you think she would have done the same thing? Yes, I think so. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so. All right, shall I show you around the Kuna? Maybe I can introduce you to my cousin before the show. That would be great. Yeah, sure. I've never been to one of these concerts in the audience before. <laughs> of course you haven't. <laughs> you guys wander around to Kuna, and um, the, Krog the, Krog the Krogan shows you to some of the gardens around there. It's very beautiful. And um, he also will uh, give you guys recommendations on where you guys can grab dinner if you'd like. Um... And uh, before you guys are ready to split off in your separate ways, 
I guess our I guess um, Otto will will freshen up before his date with Arkara. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you guys planning on doing for dinner? Um, keeping Talia as far away from there as possible. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Do you want to get food? Food is uh, good. Tris Trissy asks uh, Sink. Yeah, that sounds good. She uh, she takes us uh, Al by the arm, and I guess she'll take you towards one of the restaurants that uh, that. I'm sure Otto uh, showed us somewhere. That Otto showed you. How about Sisepia and Elias and Meridi? Are the three of you guys going out to eat together? Or are you I guys suppose so. Else? Yeah. Might as well. Sounds good. So, let's start with Sisepia, Elias, and Meridi. Uh -huh. So, and so, so you guys go to a place that is um, very Dextro friendly. It's, it's a cafe. Um, and. Uh, Meridi is um, going to order herself a fillet of some sort. Anyway, while she's while you're dining, she takes a sip of her wine and she says, "Okay, so here's the plan. So we're gonna have this supposed party, this engagement party for Otto and and um, Trissy. I am going to pretend." that Otto of I and I have been sleeping around behind Trissy's back. Oh, so there is going to be a breakup right in the middle of the engagement party. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. Much better. But I need you guys to back me up. So absolutely. one of you has to sort of bring it up. Maybe one of you can act like you're drunk and it kind of slips out that, you know, Otto's been unfaithful and, you know, has been sleeping around with me. Oh, but wait a minute. That would paint him in a very bad light. Oh, wait. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. He's like, his... She says, You've seen his family. They treat him horribly. They need to cut the apron strings. Is that the right term? I keep getting these idioms mixed. I suppose. Though he needs... I think he should be honest with his parents. Just tell, him, tell him that he needs to do what he needs to do. Oh, but I really think that doing the breakup scene would be so much more fun. Mm. <laughs> how, about, how about, I'm sorry, honey, but I'm leaving you for a restaurant. <laughs> huh. Well, Elias, don't you think this would be great footage for the, to, for the show? Mm. The well, audience yes. would love it it. It, it, it. it is very good footage, but at the same time, it's, um, it, it, I don't think we'd be painting it as in this actually happening. His family's yeah. his his family is amazing footage just by themselves. They don't necessarily That's need our help. True. <laughs> and again, I wouldn't necessarily want to demean Otto's good name, especially if he's planning on opening a restaurant. That would probably not go over very well. well I was going to say, if it helps, we, we can always put this particular planning scene in there with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the 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 operation. What is this operation? Um. Let also be an adult? That sounds terrible. Operation Apron? Cut the apron? Operation Apron. I'll drink to that. <laughs> uh. Arkara, you and Otto are having dinner at a very fancy schmancy restaurant, and he is dressed in a, in a very, um, very well-pressed suit and tie. Um, I don't know if you have dressed for the occasion or if you're just wearing your armor. I'm not really sure what you're planning well, on Well, considering the, the only fine clothes I currently have is basically the veil and veil and dress outfit from uh, the camp uh, compound. No, you'd have, we'd, have, we'd have got you something because of the games. <laughs> yeah, right. that is true. That is true. I'm probably you wearing... You would have whatever. a nice outfit from that. You would have a night outfit from yeah, the banquet. Yeah, probably wearing that then. Otto will recommend to you some of the um, really good uh, dishes from the list that are spicy. He says, these are particularly good because they are not spicy for the sake of being spicy. They are spicy for the sake of being flavorful, proudly. Well, I like the sound of that. Let's try it. 
you guys are having like general conversation and you guys are probably, you know, doing some catching up and having a good time. And then when you guys are actually having your entree served, um, Otto suddenly, uh, suddenly gets a very um, serious tone. And he says, with great gravity, Arkara, I wanted to say something to you before this evening is over. Oh? What's up? I was hoping that it would be easier for me to show rather than to say, because I was always a believer that actions speak louder than words. But in case it was not obvious, I wanted to let you know that I care about you very much. Oh, that's sweet, Otto. Thank you. I also know that you care about Meridi very much. Okay, so you know, she just kind of coughs a little bit and just like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you caught on to that, yeah. I guess everybody knows now. I know that you are very close. You have obviously been best friends. And of course, I think that with any relationship, being best friends is probably the best thing before moving on to anything else more than friends. I know I am not her, and I do not wish to take her place. I wanted to know, though, how you feel, because there have been other people who have started messaging me on Chromance. At first, I did not respond to them because I was interested in you. However, I wasn't sure if this is one-sided or not and if it is that's quite all right i can move on i just wanted to know or maybe if the answer is you're not sure that's okay too but if you are unsure it's not fair for me to be strung along you need to do what you have to do and i need to do what i have to do if you need time you should give yourself time. But it's not fair for me to completely ignore these other girls who are interested in reaching out to me too. And since I care about you very deeply, I thought that I would at least give you the respect and decency to inform you of this before I did anything else. You're too sweet for your own good, you know that? He blushes. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to take some time for me to get over Mridi, but I do care for you as well, but I'm not sure in what way yet. I haven't gotten to know you cl quite well enough, I think. But you're really sweet and you're really different from all the other men I've met. So you're quite intriguing. Let me just put it that. I understand. In that case, you will then understand that I will at least respond to the messages that have been sent to me. And we will see what happens from there. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You need to give yourself some options as well. Do what you gotta do. There's always Trissy. <laughs> <laughs> we are engaged after all. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Depending on what Mridi has cooked up for you too. Uh Sisepia is cute too. <laughs> but I think that Talia has other plans in mind for her mom. Well, if Sisepia is interested, go for it. She is cute. 
And I don't think Talia would mind if she got you for that. <laughs> Do you think I should talk to Sisepia? Well, if you if she's interesting to you, go for it. Why not? I have to admit, I never thought about it that much before, but now that you mention it... What's <laughs> up, uh, <laughs> Love's a mysterious thing, isn't it? And with that chill in the air. <laughs> Someone just walked on your grave. <laughs> Talia does like my cooking. I think she likes you. But I don't think there's anyone on the ship that doesn't like you. Oh, thank you. <sighs> he says, let's enjoy the rest of our dinner. Yeah, let us. Meanwhile, Sink, you are having dinner with uh, Trissy. And uh, we'll say that this is at a bistro of some sort. Mm -hmm. And um, she's looking through the menu and uh, she does, she says, I don't even understand half the things that are on this menu. I didn't realize you could do that to Pie Jacks. She says, looking at one item on the menu. Yeah, um, same goes for me. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've ever tried Pie Jacks either. Uh, is there anything on the menu that looks somewhat good? Or like something yeah. that we're used to? There does. There does. There does. Um, I think what uh, what um, she'll end up ordering is she'll probably order something that is similar to a savory crepe. Similar to a savory crepe, but it's not uh, made in the same way. Okay. I say that because Dylan and his Dylan knows about crepes <laughs> during my visit <laughs> to uh, to uh, New Orleans with him. Uh, but, uh, that's what she orders. Okay, I'll get like some soup or something. Okay. So, what do you think? Apparently, I'm engaged to <laughs> Otto of all people. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bird is pretty good at thinking of stuff on on the fly, but. I didn't see that one coming at all. Speaking of Meridi, she says, "Did you ever see her in any with in any light more than friends? She's a pretty girl too." Uh, uh, this is kind of a weird story, I guess, but I was really good friends with the Meridi from my universe. Uh, ah. Long story short, she ended up passing away about halfway through our whole mission, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It, it's okay. Uh, she's actually the the AI that Ellie has put on the ship. Uh, uh, he, he he went through, or she she went had a sex change surgery not long after oh. we met with everyone. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize that Asari did that. Yeah, I, did, I don't think any of the rest of us knew that either until we saw Drimmy, is what we called him. Um, but hey, it's what he wanted and it's what he believed in, so I was all for it. I can tell you miss him a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't know what you have until it's gone and I've experienced that more times than one now. Yeah, you don't know what you have, especially when it's right in front of you. I know, I know. Did you talk to Sisepia? Yeah, I did talk to her, and uh, a part of me, I, I understand where she was coming from. She was trying to, to look out for you, uh, albeit in a maybe more brute force way. But... She did save my life, so I guess I owe her that much. You could have told me, you know. <sighs> yeah, well, last time I met the Beatrice in the Red Universe, me, I kind of put everything on the table all at once, and it really didn't end well. It kind of freaked her out more than anything else, so 
when I saw you, I figured I should maybe take things a lot more slowly. Gotcha. I understand that. I don't scare very easily, though. Well, I guess I'll, I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> I don't think you can do anything that would scare me, Al. Thank you. Too bad I'm already taken by a very eligible Krogan who is about to open an amazing restaurant. But, you know, I can always have someone on the side. I don't think he would mind. <laughs> well, appreciate it. Speaking of which, do you have, do you have any ideas on how to uh, get, get out of the situation of this whole engagement party? Hopefully they maybe they come uh, up with something. Well, Meridi sort of had an idea about pretending that Otto was sleeping around with her without me knowing, and we were supposed to get into this big fight. I don't know. Oh my I gosh. Just, yeah, I. it's hard to say no to her because she seemed so convinced that it would work, and I'm sure it would work. I just... I just don't really like getting into drama like that, especially when it doesn't even exist, you know? Yeah, uh, this is going to be interesting. Maybe Elias can be the one that was sleeping around with me. That way we can preserve um, Otto's name. <laughs> and actually, maybe I could be sleeping around with Elias and Arkara, and Sesepia. <laughs> that would be super entertaining. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, or, or is is, would... is, uh, Al, is Alaban like laughing in character too? I think so. Yeah. I think... <laughs> she laughs too. Oh. Al, don't Al now. Don't get any ideas now. <laughs> oh no! I don't have any no ideas whatsoever. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess it would definitely preserve Otto's name, but it'd make you look really bad. I don't care about that. She says, like, the the par the parents, his par his family, they don't know me, and when all good is when all is said and done, as long as Otto is able to get away from that situation, that's all that matters. Not to mention we are in a different universe, so I guess technically we could do whatever we want and, and get away with it, so. What are your plans, Al, when all of this is over? Well, I'd like to get my life back on track and, uh, well, maybe get to know you a little better. Where? Well, uh, the good thing about living on a ship is that you can kind of go wherever you want to go. Crystal was saying that when this was all over, she wanted to close all of the gates for good. I don't know how many people agreed with that, but she seemed very adamant about it. What do you think of that? Uh, honestly, if we left gates open, it probably would, everything would just repeat itself all over again. So, it does sound like a good idea to keep the gates closed, but that doesn't mean who stays behind has to be from the, their original place, if you get what I mean. She smiles. And with that, she uh, reaches over and she takes your hand. Okay, you know. Reply. <laughs> Reciprocate. Reciprocate, yeah. Reciprocate. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. That other thing. <laughs> There's only one problem, though. Oh, yeah? What's, what's that? Exactly. Darren is extremely... Oh. Darren is an extremely overprotective brother. Well, who's the older one, you or him? He is, begrudgingly. Only by age, though. 
<laughs> well, you seem to be able to handle yourself well, and... Oh, yeah, I can handle Darren fine. <laughs> you, on the other hand, I don't know. Uh, I guess <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. Actually, now that I think about it, hmm. Maybe if I six a seppi on Darren, that would that would help. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. I don't think the whole seppi thing's a good idea. <laughs> She's not so bad. Her daughter is adorable. Oh yeah. That girl is going to be tougher than her when she gets when she grows up. I can see it already. Um, I just don't want to give to Sepia the wrong idea or Talia for that matter she doesn't quite understand <laughs> what you just said or Talia she says well uh, for, for lunch was it yesterday or was it today yeah 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 for lunch yesterday yes. yeah for, for lunch she, uh, she kind of put me and Sepia on a Blind date, I guess. Really? Talia did? Yeah, she... Wow. She's worse than Meridi. That's <laughs> <laughs> where she got it from. <laughs> Meridi's influence. <laughs> I think she, she really misses her father figure, and she thought putting me and her on a date would make me her father... I can't blame her. Yeah. Like I said, I think you'd be a really good dad. <laughs> Thank you. And I would just be a very overbearing mom. Yeah. We didn't have to agree so quickly, she says, as she throws her napkin playfully at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. <laughs> no, it's okay. She's laughing. Anyway, how's that, how's that crap? It's great. Do you want to have some? Sure. Take... She cuts you a bite, and then she holds out her fork towards your mouth. Okay, then I'll, I'll take a bite. It's really good. It's very, very good. What'd you think? Wow, this is this is pretty good. I've, I've never had. I've never tried this before. It's, this is great. Otto introduced me to these things. Uh, not that Otto. Our other Otto. I didn't know if you knew we had our own Otto. I I actually didn't know that. Yeah. Although that auto between you and me, I think he's leaning more towards uh, Crystal Chen. Really? Yeah, really. I surprised me too. But uh, if you think about it, they had a lot of similarities personality-wise. Never thought I saw it coming. Is he, is the auto from your universe any different than the one that we, we know? The one here is a little bit more expressive. <laughs> Probably your guys' influ influence. <laughs> Almost definitely. I'm having fun, Al. This is a good time. Yeah, thanks for taking me out on this little, uh, I guess, date. Thank you for humoring me. She takes up a glass, and she raises it, and she says, to whatever... To whatever comes before us from here on out. To whatever comes before us. And then I'll hit my Click. glass with her. Back to Sesepia and Elias and Riddy. You guys are having a ball. You guys are having a lot of fun. You're, 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 the drinks are flowing if you are into that kind of thing. Riddy's drinks is definitely flowing. <laughs> and um, she sa she's saying, so Elias... Tell me, mm -hmm. what do you really think of the Elias here? <laughs> Be honest now. I like that he remixes live, but remixes? Well, yes. Yes. Um, but then again, he's not as much of a sellout as the one over in my world. Yeah, well, I just, I still don't know how that one managed to win. Citadel's Got Talent. 
Well, there's rumors about how that happened, but... Not surprised. There's always rumors. Hmm. Um, meanwhile, while you guys are chatting, you uh, notice a few people um, uh, and, the, and the table next to you uh, starting to collapse. It's, it would be normally weird if it was one person who ended up fainting, but like an entire table on the other side of the restaurant uh, all of a sudden uh, falls over out of their chair or into their food. And Meridi notices this and says, that's kind of odd. Uh, several of the people around the table start uh, getting up to see if there's something wrong with them. I very quickly run an analysis on our food <laughs> to make sure we haven't been poisoned. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with your food. Or the drinks. Or the drinks. <laughs> if you run a scan, if you want to run a scan on the food that they were eating, you're welcome to as well. Hmm. I think first I'm going to run uh, a, a quick health check, one of those health programs, to make sure that we're, I'm okay. <laughs> that who's okay? No, that I'm okay physically. Yes, you are fine. You physically are fine. Awesome. Hmm. Well, it seems to be just that table. Should we check it out? I think we should. Hmm. Because that's what we do, it seems, Brady says. Yeah, that's that's where I was going with that one, too. <laughs> you guys go over to the table to uh, to get a, uh, to see what the commotion is about. One of the Asari nearby yells out, somebody call the, whatever the equivalent of 911 is. It's not 911. Um, but somebody call the emergency, the, the ambulance. Someone call Triple and... Acorn. No. <laughs> exactly. Triple Acorn. Um, and... Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone nearby, at least, is a doctor or has a medical background at the moment. Do you want any um, of us to try to make a knowledge roll or try to make a medical roll? Well, I have first aid and I have one pip in medicine. <laughs> okay. I'd just be, uh, I'd be going just straight up knowledge. Anything. That's fine. Tell me what the let, value let is. Let me try a medicine roll. Yeah, go ahead. You run a check on them. They're still breathing, but they seem, if you uh, open up their eyes, you see that they are dilated heavily. And um, it the, per, the victims are, uh, their symptoms are similar to uh, those who have OD'd on some drug, overdosed on some drug. Elias, do you want to do an analysis of the food? I'll try redoing um, for, thing for him to try to get him over here. Sure, sounds good. Um, let's have a look and see what they have been eating. The food looks perfectly fine. Mm. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was that new drug that um, I pulled off what's-her-name's laptop, Diana's laptop? That drug that has been rumored to be um, being taken... Yep. That mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Symptoms mm -hmm. match, right? Symptoms match. Although this one is a case where it seems like they took a little too much. What's the name of the drug again? <laughs> it's called Audium. Like opium, but like audio. Like an audio, like audible. So it's mm -hmm. Audium. A-U-D-I-U-M. Mm -hmm. It's Audium. Mm. All right. Already Now get them to a hospital. I don't. I don't. Do you think we should? I'm not sure we. Well, honestly, they ought to be. They ought to be prepared for this one. I guess they were. I'm betting they had tickets for tonight. Hmm. All right. I guess we should just. Uh, I guess we should just let them do that. What's or... the? What do? Do we have any data on OVDs and how bad they are? Are you doing a? Are you? I'm bringing up the again. file and trying to work out what the one, what are the, what what happens with the people who OD on this thing. The people who OD 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 on those thing, they they end up getting an accelerated heartbeat. Again, it's very similar to people who OD on in drugs in general. Um, they start having bizarre hallucinations. 
Um, in rare cases, they become hostile in rare occasions. Um, and uh, if they are not treated uh, immediately after, after ODing, then yes, it can definitely be fatal. Right. What's the treatment? <laughs> Anything I can synthesize? Uh, um, getting their, their system pumped is probably the best treatment. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure there is some sort of solution that they can, that they'll be able to show you that you can make that will help to dilute, dilute it or counteract the uh, drug itself. Hmm, so that they that's, that's the one that I want because I don't think I have the ability to pump their systems. Then, yeah, you might be able to make something for them. Okay, I'm going to try that. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I roll need the to medicine? roll? Medicine. That would be medicine. Uh, okay, well, I'll try to use that formula and see if it will work. Um, I'll, yes, maybe call the hospital or because we need, they need medical attention pretty much now. Yeah, also, possibly I think it's... someone to Someone to hold them down in case they um, get aggressive. Right. That was a 12. Okay. Uh, I, you'll be able to make one dose um, by the time that the paramedics get there. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, you won't be able to make any more beyond that um, to help these three people. It was three people at the table. It is, yeah. So, so, um, if you give that one dose to that to one of the individuals, they will be able to come to. Um, they'll be very high when they come to, but the other two will still be unconscious, and one of them is seems like their vital signs are falling fast. <laughs> well, I'm giving it to the one. I'm giving it to the uh, actually no, I'd give it to the person who seems to most need it uh, in the first yeah. case. Um, right. I I, assu I assume that's what yeah. you did. And even doing that, there's still somebody yeah. left who is... Who's yeah. Well, when the paramedics arrive, I'm, I'm going to tell them that it appears to be an audium overdose. Okay. Uh, Meridi, actually, while, she, while uh, she's looking over um, one of the body... One of the... Not bodies, but one of the people who passed out, uh, procures what looks like a bottle of some sort. Um, and uh, she says, is this... What we're talking about? Probably. Um, the I've the bottle seen this stuff. The bottle is like handwritten. There's like the label on the bottle is hand handwritten, um, and there is a contact. It looks like there's a contact information on it. Um, Screenshot that says <laughs> that says Orpheus. Can I perform a search just to see what else I can find on them? If there's anything else? Are you are you searching? Yeah. There. Okay, with everybody around you watching <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm just gonna go look through their wallet. Ah, Watch your see thick badge. Yeah, you yeah. can show them your badge. Badge. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, you can search through them. Roll a search. Um. Uh, ooh, I get I get to throw another die on that. Ooh, that's a good roll. I probably don't even need to, but. Uh... Come on, do it for fun. One, for funsies. Okay, so 25. 25. Okay. You will find a... The, the only other thing besides um, the people's... Norm, what are they, whatever people would normally have on their persons. The only other thing that you notice is a um, thumb drive of some sort which you wouldn't know what the contents were until you actually put into something, if you chose to take the thumb drive. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> hey, All Elias, right. Elias, what do you think of this? Stay on the <laughs> name, A. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, give me. <laughs> Plug and play, what do we got? <laughs> you put the hard drive in, and it's actually a bunch of images. Um... The images appear to be, I'm trying to remember the name of the race. Ah, there we go. The images appear to be images of Rachni, caged Rachni in Ooh. what appears to be some sort of laboratory. Sorry, you sort of blocked out. I heard Rachni and then nothing. 
they appear to be images of Rachni caged in some sort of laboratory. This does huh. not look like it's something legal. I don't like these images very much. Am I seeing these images too, or no? Ah, uh, no, not uh, at the moment. Um, yeah. If these two things are connected, I think we need a sample of that stuff. I said, pointing at the bottle. Sample? Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to run an you, analysis. You can take it. Yeah, you can run an analysis. Yeah, I want to run an analysis of what's in it. Because um, yeah. if these two things are connected, which I'm not sure if they are, but if they are... Um, actually, no, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, the Ragnar... Uh, again, I can't the comment Ragnar, on that. The Ragnar Concede. perceive music, as, music. Or, or songs as yeah. colors and sounds yep. of colors. And if this is yep. effectively evoking synesthesia, then mm -hmm. the source of sense, yeah. it Why? would be Rachni. It makes sense. <sighs> By this point, the paramedics are already putting the bodies on stretchers, and one of them is trying to... Um, trying to jumpstart their heart, but they're having a problem with it. Um, a few, one of the, uh, one of the uh, paramedics is, thanks the two of you for taking care of them while they were, uh, while they were on transit uh, to get these people to the hospital. You've got the, you've got the uh, antidote for that, right? We have, we have some, uh, plasma on at in the uh, ambulance that should be able to help uh them uh with, that should be able to help mitigate the effects of the drug i scribble down i scribble down the formula and pass it over <laughs> okay okay we should get the whole group together well maybe we can kind of investigate this now, the concert does start in about an hour. It's up to you, though, how you want to handle this. But the concert is about to start in an hour. <sighs> I guess I'm just going to do what you guys are going to do. I mean, as much as I definitely am looking forward to seeing Elias perform, although I think that Otto would be very disappointed if I didn't see his cousin. Mm. That's okay. Some of us can stay behind and represent the group. I'll film it for you. Yeah, I, we need to get this taken care well, of. Well, here's the funny thing. This drug seems to show up whether Elias shows up here. Hmm. So Interesting. Yeah. Do you think that this Elias is also a sellout, but not necessarily the type of sellout that we think? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I'm sure you would love to find out. <clears throat> yes, but I'd like to find out lots of things. <laughs> what I want to know is what this Orpheus thing means. Well, Orpheus is probably the dealer. Let's do a trace, shall we? Are you going to gather the rest <laughs> of the group before you do this trace thing? I'm going to mention it to them. <laughs> okay. Everyone gets a ping. <laughs> ping. Basically, Sick gets a ping and Arkara gets a ping. Yeah, it's basically going, possible Rachni involvement with drugs. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not pure at all. Trissy uh, opens up her purse and she takes out her, her um, phone, I guess, and she says... It's from Elias. Oh, what have they gotten themselves into this time? Uh, oh, I guess we better go find out before they get caught in too much trouble. Or such a trouble. Waiter, she says. Yes, ma'am. Could you please get the put the uh, chocolate peanut butter cake um, um, <laughs> in a doggy bag, please? Of course, ma'am. Go on, she says. Go on, she says. I'll meet you guys there. I'll wait for the cake. Awesome, thank you. I'll see you when you get there. Kiss already. <laughs> Kiss already. <laughs> okay. I hear something in my head that says I should go faster. 
<laughs> Sink leaves. <laughs> okay, and then Arkara <laughs> and and uh, Arkara and Otto. Otto gets the message too. Hmm. Looks like Elias has found some trouble for us again. Yeah, shame Good I need to go trouble. to work. Do you think you can keep an eye on them? I was hoping I'd be able to introduce you to my cousin uh, before the show, but this is more important to you, I'm sure. Well, I can't really skip out on a contract. That's not going to look good. Of course. I'm so really sorry about that, though. It's okay. My cousin would have really liked you. He's very funny. <laughs> um, question. How long is Elias playing Takuna? Probably a couple hours. It's probably a two-hour no, show. No, no, as in days. Weeks. Oh, how many days? Yeah. Uh, he's probably there for three... I think he's there uh, for three nights. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's opening night. It's Friday night. Okay, so we have time. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> We can do both. We can see the concert and hunt for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Multitasking. I'll g I'll let you guys discuss that in person. Yeah. So, I guess you guys will all meet outside of the cafe. I guess well, outside of the restaurant. Or where yeah, are you guys gonna meet? Can, I was gonna say we can go back to the ship. It's probably safer. You can. Yeah, you guys can go back to the ship. Um, especially given the whole, uh, let's not mention my name out loud in front of other people. <laughs> okay, okay, Elias. Yeah. <laughs> you guys will gather at the ship. <laughs> and go ahead. What happens? First thing is, uh, I'm going to see if we can trace that number. To find out where it's going, that Orpheus contact number. Okay. And basically, I go... Chemical analysis, rachni images. Um, okay. Also, are those photos uh, stamped to geolocations by any chance? Uh, yes. Awesome. So, with all of the information, all of the information that you have, you find that Orpheus is actually is the name of yes, a dealer that deals um, the audium drug. Um, you don't know where Orpheus necessarily lives. However, using that information you find out that um, there is a factory that supposedly shut down that these images appear to have been taken at. Um, and it actually is about, mm, I would say, several, I would say about 30 miles outside of the city, but by, by ship, that's nothing. 30 miles outside of the city, but by ship, that's nothing. Huh. Looks like we've found the, the lab. I thought it would have been off-world somewhere. Really? Dakuna? Since when was Dakuna a, a center of narcotics? If you want to lay low, good call that's story. a pretty good place. Well... Like would suspected, would they? I suppose. Hiding in plain sight and all that? Are you actually here, Akara? Or are you I think, Yeah, I think we're all comms? together. Yeah, I need to go back to the ship and pick up my gear before I head ah, off. Ah, brilliant. That makes awesome. sense. Yeah. Makes sense. yeah. So I'm here. Well, so I guess we should... Should I think we should shut it down. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think, this is, I think this is the major priority, taking care of this. And then if we have time, we can see the concert after. There's still plenty of other days that we can see it. Is, I was going to say, can we, actually shut down, can we actually shut it down and get back in time for the concert? We've got, what, 45 is minutes? Drug, <laughs> is this drug linked to all Alias concerts or just the ones in this area? Um, According to Diana's files, all of them. Well, we may mm -hmm. have to do a little bit of both. I need to yeah. be at the concert anyway. Do you want me to keep an eye out? I can move behind yeah, the scenes, well, seeing as I'm a guard. I think yeah. so, because frankly, if they might run if the the other me is involved with keeping his fans hooked on Audium, um, I don't know, he might have a vested interest in keeping the facilities going. Most likely. 
Honestly? Hmm. Pi? Yes, creator Elias. How do you feel I... about hacking the other me's files? Think he uses the same passwords? That would be scary. We need to change our passwords. The probability, I'm sure, is great. Change our passwords now. <laughs> Done, Creator Elias. Awesome. Um, let's go digging, shall we? And hope he's not, and let's hope he's not as good as tech as us. <laughs> While he's digging, Trissy enters into the room. And uh, she uh, comes in and says... I'm here. Hey, sorry I'm late. I brought sustenance. And she um, opens up the bag and places a cake in the middle of the table. Well, don't don't mind if I don't. Now uh, get a piece. Pi runs through the diagnostics. Uh, he says, Crater Elias, you now have complete access to Red Elias's files. Oh, this feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's display the screens. <laughs> you display the screens. So, I mean, obviously there's like files and files and files of his horrible fan mail. Some files of his writing. <laughs> um, and then you get into the juicy part. So, the long story short, yes, this Elias has made a contractual agreement under the table based on all the information that you've collected to um, use his concert in order to uh, increase the market of Audium, a brand new drug that uh, allows uh, people to enjoy his music more and it does not seem, though, that this Elias is aware where it comes from. Not that he cares, so long as he gets the money for it. Um, I think that's the only information that you would need from his files. Right Absolutely. Now. Yep. I'm siphoning off copies of everything else, too, but why not? Um, so, in other words, all I actually need to do is film a confession, stick it online somewhere, and watch him plummet. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the concert. <laughs> oh, oh, put it oh. on the big screen. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. That would be some one finale that he won't, or he won't miss. Willie. Oh. I feel evil just doing it. Okay. So. Hmm. You do realize we're going to have to take out the facility and load, load this at more or less the same time, right? Oh. As long as we can kill the comms at, the, at that, that drug facility, we should be okay. Oh, How long is it his cousin's warm-up warm -up act? Uh, who are you asking that to? Otto. Otto's not, Otto's not there. He went to go see his cousin. Oh, you can call him if you want. You can, you can call him. Um, I shouldn't call him because that would, wouldn't be suspicious at all. <laughs> Does someone else want to call Otto? What do we need to do? Maybe his Trissy wife. pulls out her phone. Yep. Find, out out his how phone. Much, find out how much time we've got before Elias' concert starts. Otto, honey. How are you? Oh, you're talking to your cousin right now. Oh, well, tell him I said hello. Listen, dear, um, we have a question for you. How long is your cousin's act? 20 minutes. What? Only? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, if, if we, in, just to let you know, we might not be able to see the concert tonight, but we will definitely see your cousin perform tomorrow. Oh, okay. In fact, depending on what happens tonight, I think your cousin might have more time to perform tomorrow. <laughs> just, just, you didn't hear that from me. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, I know. Hugs, hugs, kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Done. Only 20, is there, I, I checked the bill, is there a second war act? Wow. 
Apparently, Elias wanted to maximize his time on stage. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the says. audible sales. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It probably would give them time to shoot up, I guess. Okay, so that gives us about an hour. Um, right. Mm. Can we do oh, this God. and get our car to the concert in an hour? Well, I should be there in about... 40 minutes-ish. I should be there before everything starts. Really. What exactly does your contract entail again? I'm supposed to be a guard at this concert. Not much more. Look, um, I'm almost tempted to say do the concert first and then take out the lab overnight. That could work. Either that or very early in the morning. I'm not sure Actually, I have no idea when, when production would be run. But at some point when there are least people there is when you really want to hit. I'm sure maybe after the concert they're maybe more worried about bathing and all the money they're making more than making more of the drug. Okay, so in That's that case... That's my hunch. I, I, I tend to agree. Um, mm -hmm. And that gives us a little bit more time to find out as much as we can about that abandoned factory. Schematics, yeah. all of that kind of thing. Where the hell did they get Rachni? Mm-hmm. That's a very good question. Are there any images of a queen? You don't see any images of a queen. Mm. But it um, does look like the Rachni are, are malnourished. It looks like they are not treated very humanely. Um... The only reason that I'm asking is because there's always a problem with recognize if there is not a queen for them to imprint on, they will be hostile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Which is dangerous for us. And I would prefer not to go up against Rachni warriors, if there are indeed warriors there, um, without a nice big Krogan. Mm 